A lot of folks asked why I didn't have a video about the new video of the ruined Tisuian footage and all that, and my answer was basically, because everybody all over Twitter is right. Like, it's gonna be a Zorua based on that classic Japanese kitsune mask. I mean, why would they specify the time in that video if not to literally mention Zorua's Pokedex number? And Zororarks, you know? But anyway, I'm so smart, and now it's time for me to tell you Hisuian Zororark's origins. <laughs> So, base Zorua and Zoroark are known as the Tricky Fox Pokémon and Illusion Fox Pokémon, and for good reason. Zoroark's whole gimmick is that it uses illusionary magic to make itself appear as different Pokémon, and judging by the spooky ghost form we see in the video, that ability likely remains, though it may be modified to be more shadowy and ghostly this time around. This idea comes from its origins. It's a Japanese folklore fox creature known as the Kitsune. It's the same thing Ninetales is based on, but each pull from different aspects of it. Zororark specifically pulls from its shape-shifting abilities and possibly also its personality trait of being a trickster. Meanwhile, the whole Ninetales thing is that Kitsune are said to grow more and more tails based on either their age, wisdom, or power level, depending on who you ask. And you'll notice that Zororark's hair is designed to somewhat resemble a fox tail since its butt is tailless. And this new Hisuian Zorark has ghostly wisps and even almost separated peaks within its main hair tail thing, resembling the multiple tails. And it looks like both forms of each evolution have these face markings reminiscent of kabuki or no theater makeup, which was very popular in feudal and Edo period Japan, which is also when these kitsune masks exploded in popularity as novelties for attendees to wear during various festivals, especially harvest festivals, because foxes are messengers of the god Inari who I'm going to look up how to pronounce... Inari. Inari. <laughs> wow. Inari is the protector of rice and agriculture, so it didn't take long for the mask to cement itself in Japanese culture sometime in the 14th century. You know how much of their society is based around rice? There were actually all sorts of masks with all sorts of different meanings, though, by the way. Mask wearing during ceremonies was a big part of Japanese culture even before it was Japan since at least the Yomon period, 10,000 BC. But the white fox mask with red stripes was among the most popular. After all, in Shinto belief, white is the color of the gods, and red is the color said to protect from evil spirits. Hence, why most Shinto priests would dress in white and red. It's all the bad spirits gotta go away because they see them and they get spooked. Maybe cut that. <laughs> it's also exactly why all of the good spirits in Okami look the way they do. Speaking of Okami, here's Inari Okami, the goddess of foxes, prosperity, rice, tea, and sake. And gosh is she popular, nearly 30,000 shrines across the whole of Japan. Almost more than every other god. And in many depictions, she of course has this iconic mask. Also worth mentioning, in Kabuki theater, red stripes on the face are used to symbolize justice, or a hero upholding justice, protecting those it can, which fits great. In the footage, Zororark attacks the person recording because it is protecting the Zorua. We know that that is what it's doing because the Japanese version of the Pokemon Legends website has like a conversation between professors, and that's what they say they're doing. So yeah, it's justice, protecting. Pretty straightforward. And plus, it turns out the Zorua were reborn in this ghost-type form through the power of their malice towards human and Pokémon. They were driven from other lands by humans who shunned the Pokémon for manifesting uncanny illusions. Which isn't unlike real foxes, predators across the globe face this issue. They eat some farmer's chickens and so the farmer gets mad and drives them out, sometimes to extinction, and then the whole ecosystem is ruined. And this does give them a motivation for revenge, which is fitting because vengeance is a common theme in many kitsune stories, hence why even Ninetales has a Pokedex entry that says, very smart and very vengeful. 
grabbing one of its many tails could result in a thousand-year curse. But back to Zoroark, the illusions that baneful fox Pokémon projects have expressions of such utter malice towards every last thing upon this world that those who see them are said to be driven mad by the terror. Being malicious also fits right in with Kitsune lore. There are two main types of Kitsune, Zenko and Yako, and the latter fits here perfectly, described as the more malicious of the two, and also they usually appear as black or white, and can even be invisible, like a ghost, whereas the other kind tends to be more yellow or golden, like nine tails. And similarly, Yako, when they attack humans, harm them inside and out, causing not only scratches and burns, but also grave and or mental illnesses. And smallpox! <laughs> Wonderful! And that's notable because that's a part of Hisuian Zoroark's official description. The golden yellow eyes are an important aspect of it too. It is said that when a person is possessed by a kitsune, they have golden eyes, it's a telltale sign. Or if someone is born as a human kitsune mix, because sometimes they did that, uh, they would always have naturally golden eyes. The ghost normal typing here is easy. It's pulling more from the fox spirit aspect of the kitsune, which is also why its fur is so long and wispy, like spirit tails. But it's still a fox. It's just a fox. It's a fox body. It just happens to have ghost abilities, but the body itself is just a normal body. So it's normal ghost. It's the same reason why, for instance, Pyroar is normal fire. It's got a normal lion body, but it just happens to breathe fire. Whereas most mono fire types have fire on their bodies, or their bodies themselves are embodiments of the fire element. There's like fire magic flowing through their veins. Not Pyroar, it's got regular magic flowing through its veins, and it can breathe fire. Also, the Kitsune really was just a normal fox. The Japanese word for fox, like just a normal, regular, everyday fox, is kitsune. All normal foxes were seen as these spirits, so they are all normal ghosts. Or what if its normal type is just an illusion? So fun fact about this adorable little kitsune plush, it's actually always been here in the studio. just up there, watching over us. You can never see it. But it's there. Or maybe I don't actually have one, and it's just an illusion! <laughs>